Hello everybody, this is Milkbone. Uh, we're going to start a brand new Civ 6 game. And I'm at the setup screen, but uh, for some reason we got black. So I'm going to uh, make some changes here and see if the screen will come up. Uh, I'm choosing now who my leader is going to be. And I'm going to take Teddy Roosevelt of the Americas. And I'm going to change it from the middle setting of Prince down to Warlord. Uh, the game speed, we're going to make it epic. It take a little longer to get things. And from Continents, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, um, a true start location on Earth. And... Um, Select that map, and then the size is locked at standard. On uh, advanced settings, <coughs> I chose the standard rules. Uh, there's going to be 12 city states. Uh, true starting occasion. I'm going to turn off cultural victory, religious victory, science victory, and score victory. So the only thing it's uh, on is domination victory. And I'm going to make it an unlimited uh, turn-based game. And uh, no duplicate civilization. And I wanted to check to see if this is still picking up on my screen and it don't look like it is. And then I want to uh, start the game. And we'll see if that will pick up. If it does not, then this video is garbage. From the first stirrings of life. And it don't. So let me see if I can change something here. And I'll try to capture the screen again. And it appears it's not going to do it, so I'll uh, I'll try something else through the intro screen. Let's see if I could do a a game capture. There you go. Okay, it looks like we got it going now. Sorry about that. Okay, the reason I switched over to Civ 6, we got, uh, Motley and I got it about a month ago, and we've played on it, we've tested it here and there, and there's a few differences, um, graphical changes and stuff, and the way you build things for the city. But other than that, uh, the gameplay is pretty much the same. Uh, the save games that I had been videoing for some reason are got so far and they they won't load back up they're crashing and that is due to a um, I was using mods and uh, that game uh, uses mods different than this game does in this game you can add mods and as long as both sides have the mods you can play multiplayer uh, the other one, it's not so. You, uh, single player and multiplayer is, is a totally different build in that game. So, uh, some of the mods are conflicting, and um, I'm not going to be able to finish them. I'd have to start the game all over until I found the right sequence of mods that I like. So, rather than go through all that painstaking and hunting and everything, uh, we'll just uh, start here in this. And I'm playing in as an American, so here I am as an American in North America. And, um, hopefully, I will be able to uh, show you guys the game through a full game finally. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to build a monument in the city. That'll give it time to build up enough to 
to uh, make a builder, which in the other game is called a worker, and will also allow me to uh, have time to for the city to grow and let me uh, be able to build a uh, settler. And I can zoom in and out using the plus and minus keys on the keypad. I have no idea if this game it will play with a controller. I don't know why it wouldn't, but I just don't have a controller, so. Alright, now for my first tech, I'm going to, um, I'm going to start with animal husbandry, which gives me a pasture and a, and a, and a camp and whatnot. And that's my warrior. I'm using him as a, an explorer or scout or whatever for right now. There is, I think, seven other sieves, which are AI controlled. And then there is 12 uh, city states, which really don't grow or do anything. Um, but I can uh, interact with them, war with them, be friends with them. But they generally won't, will not declare war, uh, just like the other game. And I guess that is Florida. So hello to all my friends down in Florida. And I'm going to start marking out some of that. And that must be the Great Lakes up there. Uh, with a uh, huge Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. Okay. And so what I do is I go see what the city-state is asking. Uh, uh, they want me to uh, put an envoy in there, I think. Okay, so on to the next turn. So whenever I can build an envoy or whatever, I think that's what the star is, I get one envoy. Nope, that allows harvesting and whatever. So this is the first city state I've run into. And uh, and everything is uh, mouse based, I cannot uh, I'm going to step up here and knock out some more. I'm, I'm not on uh, some key base, but uh, like the last one, I could move using my uh, uh, 794613 uh, keys for the directions on the hexagon, and I can't do that with this. So we'll play about a hundred turns, see how far I get, and uh, then I'll post it later this evening. I am fond of pigs. And there was my dogs tech. look up to us. Cats look down on us. Pigs treat us as equals. I'm letting them play all the way through because some of them are pretty cute. And so it's time for a new tech. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna go after pottery. Uh, it's just a random choice. I haven't got the dynamics of the game really figured out. There's uh, some probably that I want more than that if I knew what the end result was. But in real life, since you don't know what's, what's ahead, you uh, make a choice with what you have now. So we'll uh, we'll trudge right along here. Okay, there's some bards, uh, and uh, there's no setting for raging bards or normal bards or uh, even a setting for. Uh, well, there is a setting for turning them off. So 
these guys are, um, I guess since there's no raging setting, they're just normal. There's a hut. Uh, there was a, I get some stuff out of the hut, hopefully. There you go. It says, Eureka, villagers share their hidden technical secrets, and uh, my knowledge of, of archery has advanced considerably. Uh, which, even though I'm not working on archery, I will get some uh, uh, points that I would have, or turns that I would uh, use to go towards them taking off now because they give me a heads up on archery. That's a different feature. Man, it looks like I've, uh, uh oh, city has built something. When that big gearbox comes up down there. I've completed my monument, so I want to go for a settler right now. And my first settler, Enacting I'll go around the Enacting new policies clock. in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. Okay, so I get to At go his up best, these policies. Man is the noblest off. of all animals. Separated from law and justice, he is the worst. All right, so I've got code of laws now. That is a uh, civic policy, and uh, I'm going to go out for a new civic policy, and again, I will just choose random, so I'm going to go after foreign trade, which will allow me uh, cannabisaries, uh, which is uh, a policy, which makes probably building them a little bit cheaper and all that. Maritime industries, that's a military policy, I'll get to build a trader which uh, the trader will build roads instead of a worker. The trader, as it goes to cities to create, it builds roads. And uh, joint war, this allow me to go into a joint war with uh, another AI uh, against his enemy. And now I'm gonna get a policy here. So them are pretty much, I pick them at random too. Uh, the way I do the random is I just roll a dice. And I'm going to take discipline for that one, and then we get that was military, and then we got economic policy, and I will choose uh, an urban plan. And uh, since he had a spearman there, I'm not going to try to bounce on him because uh, he's pretty tough. Okay, I wanted to show you. Uh, the city, uh, there's no bars above it right now. Uh, that's because he's not under attack. If they should come down and attack me, I'll get a bar here which will start going down. And my city cannot, uh, like in the last one, it could fight from the get-go. This city cannot do any fighting back to, uh, uh, other than whenever he attacks. Uh, it can defend itself, but to be a, um, to get my target here is where my city can attack, actually make an attack, I have to have walls, a set of walls built first. So that will be one of my options, one of my goals probably in the game. Alright, so, and as long as I don't have walls, or it might, I think it's walls, it could be a tech. You see how I have dash lines? That means anybody can walk through my country. Uh, I have open. No orders. man ever wetted clay and then left it, as if there would be bricks by chance and fortune. I now have pottery, so I'm gonna go after a new tech, and I'm gonna go after sailing. That will let me get a galley and will allow um, my builders to uh, build fishing boats. and it allows my builders to go out into the water. So, uh, a few differences, not a whole lot of major differences. And, and right now it's just exploring. So come along with me on my exploration. And there's another hut. Now, if 
I would have heard that noise and not seen it, I could click on this and it will send it. And pretty much, I, I think the uh, Civ 5 does that too. Reconnaissance units like Scouts are unique in that they can gain experience by exploring and discovering parts of the world. Yeah, and gaining experience on this is pretty much the same, but you get to choose what, what you want to uh, advance up to. And that gave me a scout. So I've got a scout out here, so I'm going to go down here and let my scout pound on their scout. Okay. Oh, and this uh, headset here with the horns and everything, that means there's an enemy approaching my borders. And then down on the left, or yeah, left bottom corner is the mini map. I think on the other game it was on the right. And I'm, I'm gonna let him rest up. Now, he's got about six turns to a, um, a settler, so I'm going to take my warrior back because I know there were some reds up here, and I'm going to build right up in here. So I'm going to take my uh, warrior back to uh, escort my settler because he has absolutely no protection. So I'll send him back to the city. So I'll end up getting my settler before him. Uh, my man gets down there. My warrior gets back. And I let him stop and heal up again. And then... Now he's got no way away. Unless he can get out in the water and I can't. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me. But life at sea is better. Alright. So... That allows me to go after another. And I'm gonna go after archery so I can get some bows and arrows. Oh, and he's gone, and his dog just disappears. So I imagine it run off. If I was role playing, I would say he ran off. Okay, and I'm gonna. Uh, run up here it looks like another uh, city-state down here maybe huh see the borders where my cursor is every nation lives by exchanging and there's my trade so now I can build traders and then they can cause my income to go up uh, simply by just making trade routes so what do I want to choose next? Let's see. Oh my God! Decisions, decisions. Let's go for an early empire. And there's my settler. So after my settler, uh, I'm going to go ahead and build a uh, a builder, and uh, I can put my settler right there but I don't know what's out in that dark so I'll just be safe rather than sorry and here's the Louisiana Delta and just a couple more moves and I'll be in the great state of Texas or what will be the Texas or something that's another thing I can't choose a city name so when I plop the city down it may be in the wrong location. And I haven't figured out how to change the names of the city yet, so just bear with that. No oh gosh, he wants to go build a city so bad. Get a little flag. And create a new front porch. Make everybody stay off of it. Get off my porch. Okay, so. I, I kind of want to keep a distance to him. I really don't want to beat uh, 
beat that one up. I'll let my warrior come back down in there and smack on him. He's got a warrior coming down. Maybe he'll help. Whoops. Nope. He changed direction. And I will go here and see what's in there. Ah, uh, what'd I get? It didn't say. This is an empty set of buildings. No goodies in that one, it didn't look like. Or if it was, I missed it. Oh, I... Now you can do this in uh, Civ 5. This is chaining the two together. Uh, it's a little easier than this one. Um, let's see. There's the Rio Grande, it looks like. Yep. People want to come in, they can just walk across. Or swim, depending how deep it is. Ought to put some gators in there. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Well. Ah, uh, let's see. We're gonna see if we can get a library out of this. So my people can become smarter. I'm just gonna take care of North America. I'll check out the uh, Central America and South America in a little bit. Okay, now my uh, settler's in place, so next turn he will build a city. I'm wondering what city will it build? Take a guess. Oh, we'll have to go back and look. Let's go back. Let's see. It's New York. Oh, well, they must have knew I was going that way. All right, and uh, New York, the first thing he's going to do is go up to monument. Now, let's see. Oh, I see. There he is. So that sets my uh, warrior free, and I can use him as a, uh, takes four again, or I might just take him down to my capital and, and there's a worker, and after the worker, I will be building another settler, I'm anxious to get my, and as you can see, I can go out here and a little fishing net, I can, let's see, let me zoom in here so I can show you this. Oh, he can't tell on this. All right, when he gets back on the screen. Anyway, what happens, he has three little men, and every time he does something, he uh, uses one of those little men. So, uh, unlike a worker in Civ Five, which lasts forever until he's stolen, or you just ban him, or he just stands around idle, uh, you only get three builds with your builder on this. And there's some more of the, uh, and then here uh, I can build a farm. Now, okay, the fishing uh, rig didn't cost me anything, so if you see, I got three little ones. And I build my farm, and I've got two left, which says I got two more builds. All these guys are coming out after my... 
and I lucked out because this guy can't get through. Now you see there it said a promotion. Oh, one was one of my builders and one was a builder that I got gifted. Okay, so he should have two also. So we'll leave him like that and we'll run him over here. He's going to build corral. Oh, and my promotion. Uh, I'm going to move him and then promote him. And then on my promotion, I've got a choice one is like offense and one is like defense maybe. Um, and I'm going to take the defensive side, I'm, uh, which is faster movement on hills and flying. And after a promotion, that's why I moved. I don't get to move. But a promotion will uh, raise my hit points back up a certain amount. So I get three moves on hills. And I will step my worker out here. And my workers have run out of things to do. Okay. And I got some uh, knowledge towards craftsmanship and horseback riding. Have been boosted. Okay. I should be able to build a mine there. No, nope. not until I get mining. So, so right now my city uh, covers all that land there. And there's nothing else my builders can do. So I'm, I'm going to send him back to this city. And I don't think I can build a mine. I don't have mine. I don't recall getting mine. Okay, so we're going to go up here and explore and knock some of this out. As you see, the, the world, let me zoom out higher, the world itself looks like a big, uh, just a big uncharted territory. You know, sea serpents in the water and stuff. And then, if you notice, well, I can see, uh, okay, the pages that I've explored go back and turn brown. So, in the old game, this was the white clouds. And this is the, uh, what's called the Fog of War. Okay, I'm standing right next to it, so I'll wait. And it will take me one turn to cross. And no, I can't, so I'm gonna send him up to that city. I'll zoom back up here. <coughs> So all in all, it's pretty much just the same game with uh, a couple newer features. Now I can attack them and I've got a real good odds to win. So I'm gonna. And I'm gonna take out that hut. See if I get anything. And I'm granted something it says. Mm probably some experience points and if you notice uh, my scout of the little one that means that he's been promoted once okay now I got another scout uh, so that's what that was they granted me a scout so with my scout I'm gonna start heading south into South America like I like I talked about before and uh, let's see what's down that way. And I'm gonna just clobber him out of existence. Okay, and it looks like uh, whoever that is, they uh, took care of the hut, uh, the fort, the uh, barbarian encampment. So I gotta wait there to cross the Mississippi. 
So I'm getting pretty much all of North America explored, it looks like. Uh, you know what, I think I want to go further north. Uh, well, that's as far as he can go. And I'm gonna let him heal up. But I'll bring him across. Okay, this guy can uh, create some boats. Because there's a lot of fishing spots around him. And I will start heading him back. And I want to go across the river. I want to go across the Rio. Alright, so we're going to create some fishing boats here. Which gives me uh, uh, some uh, advanced points towards... Uh, Celestial Navigation. Okay. I'll let him heal up again. It looks like these guys are going to block me. So I'll go around the mountains. I took two moves the last time, and that was his second move. So, I'm heading back towards uh, Washington. And I'm across the river. Oops, I want to wake him back up. I can do that. Come back and just click on him and go out here to where this farm is. Okay. So, there. We're a little over halfway through my gameplay. I'm going to, uh. I think I can step on my worker. And my worker's gonna create a farm. I didn't notice that was his last or not. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna come back down here to the, oh, well I'm blocked by mountain. I guess that's the Great Rocky Mountain. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. Creating districts in our cities can be much more powerful and lucrative than simple improvements like farms and mines. Writing means sharing. It's pop. Okay, oops, I cut him off. So we're gonna study mining. Um, and I can make it back to the city, so I will. And I've got my farm done. So I'll hit him back where he got a little bit of protection. And I'm gonna... I gotta kill him if I wanna get past him. I don't know if he'll move for me or not. Alright, so we'll go back out. We're heading west. Go west, young man. Go west. Okay, and then we'll let these two wait. And we'll let him heal up. And there's another bar. Ew, just knocked his block off. That wasn't much of a fight. But it gave me his knowledge towards bronze working, so. And Look back over the past, with its changing empires that rose and fell, and you can foresee the future too. Yeah, okay. 
I can see the future now. Don't believe it. Alright, so now we're going to go after another civic policy. And I'm going to go after craftsmanship. Uh, as you said, I've already got some on it. Remember I was gaining some on it? So now we can go all the way down here. Oops. Well, I'll go down here and fight this guy. Oh. Wasted. And this guy, we, uh, we're going down the west coast here. I think that's as far as I need to go. Yeah, there's a hut down there. Okay, I just built another settler. So, after a settler, I see the last time I built it, so I'll go for a trader this time. And I will link up with, and I want to go this way. I want to go down here. <coughs> so, I'm going to send uh, that worker down that way. Okay, and I want to see what this hut has to offer me. And, uh, they're giving me an advancement into mysticism. Uh, Woohoo! I'm gonna learn magic. I don't think it's that kind of mysticism. Okay. him back up and see if we can make it up there to Alaska or the Alaska on this map okay and I'll let him rest up and I'm gonna let him rest up never can tell what they're gonna run into especially in exploration okay I've only got one little man left on here, so... Okay, what was that, copper? Okay, so I'll let my... And, and I'll build, let's see what it is. What city is it? Oh, we have to go down and look. Ah, uh, New Orleans. Well, we'll let off. Uh, let's see if I can go down here and build anything. And uh, we'll let him rest. I heard some whales. Did you hear them whales? When you find yourself in a hole, quit digging. Yeah, that's good advice. Okay, so we're going to go after a tech now. Let's see. What can we pursue? Ah, uh, masonry. That'll allow me to start the wall. And I found another city state down there. This is the great northwest up here. Without craftsmanship, inspiration and is a mere reed shaken in the wind. Okay, so let's go get another civic. Uh, we're going to work on drama and pottery. Uh, that'll give me uh, literary tradition, great persons uh, policy. Uh, the amphitheater and uh, a theater square. So, yeah, the squares that I was talking about a while ago. Uh, in the old Civ, you just uh, build the buildings that you want. In this Civ, you can't build them unless you have a city zone for that building. So, that's a, a difference. Okay. Send my warrior up here. 
And let's see what my worker can do down here. Let me go out there and create a fishing boat. More food, population grows. I guess this is Cuba and and all them uh, islands out in the uh, Caribbean. Okay, now that builder is done. So let's go. Okay, time to beat on some head. What are we standing on? Jade. There's some jade down there. That's a good trade commodity. Um, there's a bunch of shivs that like that. You make trades with them. Keep them happy. That way they won't want to beat you up. Alright. And I'm going to just put him on alert. And let my explorers explore. Or what are they called? Scouts. Rest that one. Okay, there's my first trade man. There's the cities he can go to. So I'm going to go to mine first so he builds roads. I'm going to go to New York. That was my first one built. Uh, and I'm going to, um, before I forget, after a trader, I'm going to go after another settler. So that'll be my third settler out of there. And where that guy uh, was standing, it looks like a um, a place for the Panama Canal. In addition to bringing riches to our civilization, this trade route will gradually develop roads between our cities. Roads allow our units to no longer be impaired by the difficult terrain through which they pass. All right. So. And I'm gonna beat on this guy some more. Uh, since he's up this way, there's gotta be a uh, barbarian encampment up here too, which I'll try to avoid because uh, scouts aren't really that strong. Yep. Nope. This is not where the Panama Canal is. I'm sorry, because here's the Yucatan Peninsula right there. Oh, won't let me pass him. Yeah, here he comes. Take a look out at the Yucatan and see what's out here. Nope. I did make a mistake. This is the Yucatan up here at La Venta. Um, it's hard getting used to a smaller map. Uh, in Civ 5, you can make it a big, huge map. And this one, uh, the the preloaded game is only a um, standard, but that's okay. It'll make for a little bit quicker exploration. So the last space I was in over here was a good place for the Panama Canal, which I can't just build the Panama Canal. I build a city on it and whatever it names it. So I've got North America pretty much uncovered. I'm heading into South America now. I'll probably just travel the um, coastline. I wonder if there's any indigenous species down here. Intelligent species. Like the Aztecs or the Mayans. Okay, I don't know what it was they give me, but uh, whatever it was, there's some more out there. These must be Eskimos. Little Eskimo village. Ouch! Run, Forrest, run! I'm gonna go on 
and down this peninsula. Let's see what, whoops. Well, I hope they went. Uh, what is that, the Aleutian Islands down that way, something like that? Oh, I'm afeard I might lose my my scout. And I'll let him rest up. Okay, I get a chance to go after a pantanon, I believe, heading towards the uh, religion. And, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? I got monuments. Let's go to the monuments of the gods. Alright, so I'm working towards the religion now. And uh, I just built another monument. So after a monument, I'm going to go after a builder up here. And then as you can see, that little dirt is done. I got to get these guys away from here. take a hit. The uh, archers aren't all that strong, so I will take him against some archers. Oh, his archers are running. Yeah, it looks like my guy's going to be on the run for a little bit. Oh, Bom dia. I found, uh, é uma honra Brazil. conhecê-lo pessoalmente. Parece que mentes brilhantes se atraem. Oh, he must be some kind of a general or something. Look at all that stuff on his hmm. shoulder. My goodness, I wouldn't be able to walk if I had that much stuff on my shoulder. Uh, I'm gonna let him heal. I forgot to do that. Oh, well, I'm going to give up checking up there. I'll let them Brazil guys take the blunder. Time to go home. Ah! They got me trapped. Well... My scout down south got away, but it looks like this one's going to get uh, killed. Oh. Don't eat my dog. Okay, now it's time to start resting this guy up. Rust up. Rust up. Your twin up north got killed. Alright. It sent me here for some reason. Why? Don't know. Okay, what I was going to say a while ago, you see the little dirt road? He created a dirt road between them. He'll make trade for a little while and then he'll want to he'll want a new route. Either go back here or back here. Uh, I'm making 10, almost 11 a turn. My goal is up. Uh, people mourning me. The scout that got killed in Alaska.
Your Grace, we have obtained greater knowledge in the art of building static fortifications. Building walls around our cities will not only make them stronger against a foreign invader, but will also allow them to bombard nearby enemies. Yep, that's what I was talking about. When wasteful war shall statues overturn and br All right. So we're going to build a... All right, go after a new tech. Uh, we're going to learn irrigation. That'll help some of the farm. Uh, and some of the land that's not farmland. <clears throat> Now, when my little guy uh, gets all healed up down there, we'll have that movement back. So there's me, you knew about me, and then there's uh, Pedro II of um, Brazil. Okay, so after the settler, I want to go for walls. So, and then I want to link these two together. And I want to take them out here and build a city. And there's another builder. Okay, after a builder, I will go after a settler. Okay, all healed up. See? Oops, well, he's wounded. So, let's go back out here. They don't have arrows, they can't shoot me. Ah. Oh, for some reason I can't go there. Okay. I'll go here, because he's going to run. He ain't going to face my uh, warrior. I knew that might happen. I told you he would leave, so I'm gonna step there, and then I can build a city next turn. What city is that gonna be? Miami? And then there's another uh, one, and I'm gonna hit him because he's weak. And by destroying him, I get a promotion. Okay, so we're going to let, and I'm going to build a city. What city is it going to be? Which city? Miami. Uh, no, Baltimore. Well, we'll have to make do with what we got. Okay. We'll go there, and I can put some more fish. It looks like whales in there. So maybe I'll tell a uh, hell of a whale. Oh, I already let his turn go. So we'll have to wait until uh, next turn, maybe. If I remember correctly, it said I could build a farm there. Okay, we just went into the classical era. All the world's era. a stage, and all the men and women merely players. I would imagine this culture caused it, or that uh, civic. All right, so we're I'm gonna head him back up and go for a new civic. Let's see what we got. We're going to go after mysticism, which is uh, inspiration, uh, revelation, 
uh, the Great Wonder of the Oracle, and I will get an envoy. Remember the one said he wanted me to get an envoy earlier? So, I'll be able to do that. So, I'm going to go up here and build a farm. And, um, let's see what transpires. this guy a ranger. Oh, he can't move because he was at the end of his turn. I must have moved him two spaces. The man who has grit enough to bring about the afforestation or the irrigation of a country is not less worthy of honor than its conqueror. And uh, there's uh, my irrigation. And uh, Now I can irrigate stuff. Woo! Well, first let's go get up. New tech before I forget it. Old people have a tendency to forget. And I think we're gonna go after currency. Don't ask me why. Oh, market. That, that's my main reason. More gold. More gold in the coffers. See, I'm up to, uh, what? Uh, 13.7. Okay, so And this will be his last build And he made it for him So there we go And I might as well take this guy out since I'm here dog didn't like him either. Did you hear that? Okay, we're going right on around Brazil. What they got? Only one city? Mm, must have a hard time to build them in the jungle. Alright, as you can see there, it gives me knowledge towards engineering. So, let's see what we're going to do here. Okay, got my walls. So you see it gives me two barriers now. Uh, the top one is the walls. They have to destroy that or find a way to shoot over the wall uh, to kill, to work on the people that's inside. Plus this city now, if an enemy comes up, they will be able to bomb them. So after Washington does that, let's see, we're going, we built what, one, two, three cities. We're going to let them build another city. We're going to let that guy rest again. And... My liege, we have an envoy at our disposal. We can use the envoy to gain favor with the city-state. Becoming go. friendly with a city-state neighbor can be greatly beneficial to our civilization. All right. Mysticism is the mistake of an accidental and individual symbol for a universal one. So, there you go. Now you know. All right. So, we need a new... Uh, uh, civic. I wasn't left a military tradition. And then here I get to place my. Uh, uh, envoy up there. And I'm gonna send him back and wait for that settler. Is anybody else over the settler? Yeah. I need to find out how long for a settler. Um, 
we got 20 turns on that one left and we still got 36 on that one so I will park him in the capital and wait for uh, this one to come out And then I'll probably take him out further out west. Let him work his way further out west. And populate North America. And then I will again uh, put him on an alert status. Looks like I've got a uh, one close to my city. That's what this was right there. Okay, I can't shoot him, so. And uh, I don't know. He may attack my city. He may not. Okay, now my trader, he's done trading up there. I can send him back or I can send him to New Orleans, which was my next city. So I will probably send him down there and create that road. So he'll go down and create a little road. I'm going to smack this guy again. I to see our dogs fight. Or watch my dog maul. Let's out. Money. If it does not bring you happiness, will at least help you be miserable in comfort. Yeah. I'd love to be like that. For a little while, anyway. But right now, I'll just have satisfied with being happy. All right, I see here we got a new tech to go after. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, well, let's go after astrology. That will uh, lead us towards building shrines and the stone hens and a holy site. That right, sounds like the wife just got home. And uh, so I'm going to end this right here and because uh, I'm sure she's full of news. So all you uh, ladies and gentlemen, mommies and daddies, boys and girls, and all you little chitlins, uh, you have a uh, blessed evening. And I'll see you again soon. Hope you enjoyed.